User testing is a crucial part of developing a useful product. Have you or your company decided to give it a go? Great. We're here for you to help you choose the right user testing tool to suit all your needs. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we will talk about what factors to consider when choosing a tool for user testing. I will go over seven questions you should ask yourself prior to making a decision so that you and your team don't need to consider changing the tool after a month. Let's start with the most important thing. What you are going to test is an essential aspect that will influence the user testing tool you should choose. Are you looking to test the UX of an existing website? The usability of a prototype? A mobile application? Do you just want to test a specific feature like the information architecture? Or do you want to do complex user testing? For example, if your goal is to test prototypes, look for tools with good integrations with prototyping tools such as Figma. If your goal is to test the navigation architecture, focus on tools with card sorting and tree testing in their portfolio. Some tools only offer prototype testing and don't have the option to test live websites or apps. So be sure to check a tool has all the features that you need. Secondly, you need to consider the methods you will use. Do you want to conduct in-person research or do it remotely? Will it be moderated or unmoderated? You might be surprised, but you might not even need a user testing tool. If you want to do moderated one-to-one -one interviews, for example, you can simply send the tester any material beforehand and conduct the test via Zoom or a similar tool. Of course, with a proper user testing tool, this process too will be much easier. Do you need audio and video recordings of testers talking aloud as they complete your tasks? Or are quantitative outputs such as task completion rates and times on tasks enough? You should also evaluate the reporting abilities of the tool. Some offer more metrics, graphs, and views on the collected data than others. A very important thing to consider is the tester recruitment process. How do you expect to recruit participants for your studies? Do you want to order professional testers from a user panel, or do you want to bring in your own testers? Some platforms offer an inbuilt user panel, some do not, and the quality and the size of other panels vary. Some platforms have the option to bring your own participants for free, and sometimes this option is paid. A CRM-like tool to manage your own database of testers might be included, where you can create segments, filters, and send email invites. So keep an eye out for that added bonus. A major factor that may restrict your choices is your budget. Some tools are aimed at big enterprises, and their pricing plans are not the friendliest for smaller or medium-sized companies. Are you willing to commit, or do you want to start slow? Take care to have a look at the billing options and decide whether monthly billing or yearly billing is a better option for you. Yearly plans offer a lower cost per month than monthly plans, but require a larger upfront payment. Some tools also offer the option to pay as you go by the number of studies you create and testers you invite. After you determine all your requirements, it's time to see which tools fit them. You might have extremely specific needs and be left with one perfect fit, in which case, congrats, you're done. But there are a lot of tools on the market and probably you are still left with several to consider. Some other aspects you may want to consider are support options, the learning curve, and the user interface design. While an outdated user interface design or weaker support option will not drastically hinder your UX research, it might just be the thing to tip the scales in favor of the tool over another. The last step in the process of choosing a user research tool should be trying it out. Most tools offer a free trial or even a free plan without time restrictions. Search their websites to see if they have demo studies available. These can also help you get a grasp on how the studies will look for your testers. And that's the end of this video. Good luck with choosing the perfect tool. If you need a place to start off from, check out the list of the best user testing tools on the market we put together. Link is in the description. If UX Tweak will make your top pick, we will be ecstatic. 
We offer a free plan so you can create an account on UX Tweak and try it out for however long you wish. And if you're interested in watching more videos on all things UX related, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.